September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time, it can be different. It has to. So tell me, Yankee, why did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone must be very important, huh? The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure you boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you did. You have a strange sense of humor. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here, and it's been that way for a while now. Well then, it should be just another day in the office, right? Hmm. I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> Calls, huh? I'll be right back. <sighs> yeah. Qué frío. ¿Te has bebido el bar entero? <laughs> you smoke? Sitio más tétrico. ¡Eh! ¿Hay alguien ahí? He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. Oh, watch the car. Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. Hello everybody, Kevin here, Raf3094, and welcome back to the channel. Today is the day we are finally playing the full game of Resident Evil 4, the remake. Uh, now, I did attend on beating this game, uh, the original game, the playthrough that I started for that, but the remake came out, so I want to do the remake. And uh, I waited the demo, uh, it's definitely a lot different from the demo now. Uh, we actually got a guy now in the car now waiting for us. 
in the demo version that I played uh, a few weeks ago, uh, there was nobody in the car. And now we're, now we're pretty much searching for the cop that went missing now. And already, it's pretty different already from the original because uh, I think the dialogue between the, the cops and Leon is uh, a bit different. Uh, but so far, great opening. Pretty much saws out exactly like the original game, but I think the storytelling is a little bit uh, better done in this one. And uh, fun fact too, uh, same voice actor for Leon for Resident Evil 2 remake. Uh, he definitely could he, have gone? he definitely sounds a lot older, a lot, uh, I guess a little bit edgier. Uh, of, of pretty much what happened, you know. Um, in the second game, but he still looks pretty much the same. He has the same haircut. He got his iconic jacket too from Resident Evil 4 as well. But he pretty much looks the same. He definitely looks a little bit older. Uh, definitely got some, getting some bags on his eye there. So he's definitely, definitely pretty stressed. Uh, yeah, uh, not sure why I've done that. Probably not good. But as you can see, this game looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely nailed down the visuals. Uh, crouch for E stand. The weird button for crouch, but I'm think I'll stick with it. Uh, we are playing the game at max settings, so this is the best the game is gonna look. Uh, I also have ray tracing on as well. Uh, might disable it if it, if the game ends up crashing a lot. Uh, I heard a lot of people say the ray tracing uh, can crash the game quite a bit, so. Might turn it off, but yeah, this is maxed out. Uh, I am playing on PC. I don't know if ray tracing is enabled for next gen console. Pretty sure it does. Well, here we go into the house. I waited. The atmosphere is different uh, from the original game. Uh, it's definitely more in the cre uh, more dark and creeper home? vibe, which I'm thinking that's a good that's a good thing. Cause I, as much as I like the original Resident Evil 4, it definitely changed the genre quite a bit. It definitely became more of an action game rather than a survival horror game. And uh, I'm thinking this game is going to be a little bit of a combination of both. Because already the vibe is pretty creepy already. And I'm loving it. Okay, I can't see nothing in there. But yeah, this this uh, this section is pretty much not it's not blind because it would I did play the demo. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have. So this is pretty much the demo aspect of the. Look at that! Look at that detail. I went to the wall and and uh, he touched the wall. Watch this, guys. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Extra detail in the animation. Fantastic. So you can definitely tell Capcom they weren't messing around. They it went all out. Uh, with the freaking, uh, with everything essentially, animation, the environment details, like, I have a feeling this is going to be another banger. Alright, let's see, let's see who's cooking. in like this. Busco a un policía. Vino aquí. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing, Leon. Uh, yep, we definitely got... Either he's dead, or he's barely alive. Yeah, if you probably haven't noticed, I do have the original soundtrack uh, enabled. 
Uh, we'll see how that goes, uh, cause I did kind of like the creepy vibe, uh, ambient soundtrack that they have going for the remix. So I might switch it back to uh, to the, the the remake soundtrack. But for now, we'll keep the original soundtrack for now. But yeah, so now it has the original sound effect when I pick up items. It has that loud whoosh sound when I pick up key items. So we'll see how that goes. Like I said, cause man, that stinks. That look nasty. Someone has been uh, learning the baker's family te uh, cooking uh, techniques here. This I have not seen. Is that a cat or a freaking dog or a rabbit? God damn, you guys are savage. Okay, Officer Bash, that was the uh, officer as well. Mario Fernandez Castano. Okay, we'll take that badge with us or obtain a file. Is that no one here? Nope, nobody's speaking to do that. So we're all playing the game on hardcore, so we're all going to probably die a lot in this game. But you know what? That is the way to play Resident Evil game, especially play so many Resident Evil games. Uh, just play hardcore. But you just want a smooth experience, just play normal. But we, we're all playing the original multiple times, so I'm going for hardcore. Right, so like I said, the vibe is already on next level here. The house is definitely a lot more expanded too, because I remember you fought that guy in the kitchen. That was it. Here we got an underground uh, basement we have to explore, which I'm pretty sure this is where we find the cop guy, because he's definitely dead. Hey. Nothing good. Alright. Now we can use our weapons. Our knife is the same button as res 2. Yeah. yeah. Look, the lighting in this game is really good though. Is there anything I'm missing back here? Cause there, like I said, this is a full game, so now there's probably a lot more stuff now. Okay, well, yeah, the guy's dead. We know that game. <laughs> You know that. What was that? There we go, baby. And you know, I'm gonna crank the volume out quite a bit for that full immersion experience. Okay. Oh, don't like that. No fucking way. Don't like that. This just keeps getting. Oh my god, look at his face. You can even see the little Las Plagas. Oh yeah, I forgot this game has ragdoll, so now you move over the body, they move. So that kind of creeped me out a little bit. But yeah, you can see the Las Plagas is still somewhat alive in his head, which is pretty nasty, but also great attention of detail. So we wasted almost a whole mag on him. We got two rounds, which is not good. You know, you think thinking we're going on a rescue mission, do you think the government will provide us with more fucking ammo, you know? Like one mag, are you serious? One goddamn mag. Okay, we can see some people in there. How many people though? I'm gonna see one. Is there any reason to kill these guys? Probably not. I think last time I checked in the demo, there was nothing. Yep, green herb. Oh, that sound effect. Oh, so nostalgia. All right, uh, let's uh, take a peek in here. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess around. Yep, I think we are. We are in. I don't know any Spanish, so I'm not sure the stuff to say it is accurate. Especially that the game is taking place in Spain, so I'm not sure to speak in Spanish and you know Mexican style or European Spanish. I'm not entirely sure. 
Okay, and I got one minor issue. What the hell is this, Capcom? What the hell is that? You have one job and you messed up. Look at that. Little gap. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're not going to mess around and find out. We're just getting the heck out of there. I'm probably missing a lot of secrets, but screw it. Under one. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. <laughs> Gotta go. Talk later. I'll let myself out. You can't be uh, you can't be classic Resident Evil 4 without the wine liners that Leon's gonna pull out from his ass. So I'm glad to kept that into the game because there's a lot of freaking one liners in the original original game. So we could tell that, you know, Leon is definitely a bit of a sarcastic smart ass. And also a badass too. Now he can do all this crazy kicks and jumps and out out of the window like Michael Bay. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely familiar. Uh, like I said, it looks a lot more gloom, uh, glo uh, darker compared to the original game. Uh, definitely going strong with the blue tint here, because I think the old game had like a strong yellow tint. But overall, though, the game looks fantastic, though. Game's running really well too. Like the game does not feel sluggish. Maybe it's an aim in the sensitivity needs to be a little, a little bit higher, but I'll I'll adjust that as I play the game. Okay, so I do remember the, f the original game has like little blue <clears throat> emblems you could shoot in the trees and pretty much in maybe secluded areas. So, gotta keep an eye on those emblems because those are gonna be important. Unless they took them out. <laughs> Ammo, good. A little nostalgia hearing that sound. And then, let's see what I like about this too. Here, let me get my webcam out a little bit. So. Now that I have one in the chamber, now I got plus one now. So I got about 11 shots now. So that is a very nice feature, extremely important as well. I definitely like that idea. All right, we got a save here. So now we can actually save now, not like the demo. <laughs> got some gunpowder. Hey, what the? I right, hear people. Well, we might as well make our save. You hear that, guys? You hear that? You hear that? That's the original save theme from RE4. Glad to have that back. We can also customize our case as well. We can make it server. Uh, it's cool that we can also change it as well. And it has different looks as well. Wow. Uh, let's go with the... Let's... Oh, wait a minute. Look at this, guys. There's different stat bonuses if you uh, equip different uh, cases. That is pretty cool. So more money for gold case, more hanging ammo for server, and drop weight for you know. Let's go for the classic. You know, yeah, let's stick with the classic. Okay, storage. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have some uh, pay to win deluxe edition weapons. <laughs> Uh, should I even take this uh, and replace it with this? I'm not sure, because I don't think I could take out the, the bullets out from this one. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have reloaded. I uh, probably should have kept the... Switch out with the Sentinel-9 here. Could take the sawed-off shot. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep it as it is. Uh, save the game. There we go. 
Yeah, we'll just take what we got. We might end up switching to the pistol. Uh, sawed off shotgun, a little bit too early to have that, so probably not gonna have the shotgun. I do want to get the pump action. Killing people. Alright. All right, here's the most controversial topic, which I will agree with everybody. They killed off the dog right off the bat, so you can't save the dog from the original game, unfortunately. This is the only negative I say about this remake is one, f fuck you, Capcom, for killing this dog. And two, no no extra help against the El Gigantes, which I'm pretty sure you're gonna fight the El Gigantes in this game, but without the dog's help, I'm fortunate, but you know, we have to move on. So, rest in peace, doggo. You will be missed by nine divisional game. Alright, so we got more bullets. Here's some people. Oh! Hiding the freaking bushes over there? What? Okay, yeah, he's hiding. You can see his ass sticking out. But yeah, this game's looking fantastic, though. Okay, I thought my game black screened there for a sec, but because it was in such a weird angle, you know, like the animation, like this part right here was blocking it. So I thought my game crashed there for a second, but nope. That is not the case. Alright. Guess. Hey, don't be shy. Nope. Alright. Hit. Hit. Stop that. Okay, uh, he's dead, I think. Yep, he's dead. Get out of my face. Nope, we don't want them to mutate. Don't want them to mutate. Because once they mutate, it gets real bad. Alright. Still got enough ammo. I think, I think the original music was playing back there, which is pretty cool. So I do like that uh, idea where the, the original soundtrack and the remix soundtrack are being combined. I do like that, which is how it should be. Get out from there! Get out of here. Can't trick me, game. You thought you could be slick and hide there in the corner? I don't think so. Okay, okay, what's wrong, Leon? Like, you're holding your liver like you like, having a... Like, are you freaking, like, crippled or what, Leon? He keeps honing his freaking stomach for for some reason. Alright. So, we got the classic here. Let's come by. See, I think you can just put them uh, together, right? Yes, okay. I kind of figured you can do that, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so inventory... Right now, it's looking small, but I'm pretty sure... Uh, we can probably make it bigger throughout the whole game. Like, buy upgrades from the merchant. Alright. So far, so good. Everything's looking good on recording as well. I had to switch to my other glasses as well, by the way, because for some reason, the reflection, the, the glare from that, my new glasses is so, like, reflective that... The green screen, the green screen was affecting my new glasses, so I have to wear the old one. So that's that's unfortunate, and uh, that's not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. So I'm wearing my old glasses at the moment. I can still see through it still. It's just that you know it's a shame I can't use my new glasses on uh, when I play games. Because you know, like I said, the green screen heavily affected it. And here we are, guys. The village. Holy shit, though. This looks fucking great. Okay. Oh, that's our missing police officer. He's done, so. Yeah, that's new. Because in the original game, he was already dead. This time, he was a lot. Very well alive. Alright, 
so this is the part where we could definitely take huge advantage and use stealth. Okay, that one we probably got to kill. That. All right, gotta be real careful here. Look at the lightning, though. The that's crazy. To see here. Let's take this as an advantage. Sorry, lady. So our knife does have durability. No one didn't hear that, because that was loud. Okay. So far we haven't got spooked, so let's take the stealth as as a huge advantage in our favor. I think I remember there's a guy right here just chilling. Guy just looking at that corner. Yeah, it's definitely a guy right there. That was loud. Hopefully they didn't hear that. Like we're good for now. Yeah, this is definitely new where you can crouch. Definitely something new. Kinda wish I have a better animation for sneaking because Leon is literally hunching in a certain position is pretty much breaking his fucking hip bones. <laughs> Because you sneak it around usually is not your typical crouch type of sneak. You know, you don't, don't want to break your goddamn hips, you know. So right now, Leon is just, he's going to have some hip issues later in life. Okay, there's a lady that's walking around. We could probably stab her. Uh, if the... Not sure what that means, but they do say that quite a bit in the game. Okay, where the hell did she go? Oh, shit, your eggs. That, that's bad. You serious? Hell yeah. I don't know where she... Okay, there she is. I was like, where the hell did you go, lady? Shit, what's this? Hey, chicken. Take the brown chicken egg. I walk around. All right, another egg. All right, Liddy. <laughs> Back up, dial. Here we go. Doing good so far. Out as hell, hand grenade. Definitely gonna need that. Uh, so since we're all playing hardcore mode, we've got to be extra careful too not to get hit because I think we take extra damage. Just like any other Resident Evil game. Okay, we got some resources. We can use that to make a uh, crafting for our ammo. So handgun ammo, I think shotgun ammo as well. From what I've seen in the demo, you can make shotgun ammo. Alright, so, so far we're all doing pretty good on the stealth here, but I'm thinking we're all going to have to go gun blazing at some point. Because... It's just inevitable. We got some people just guarding specific areas and they just won't go. Rest in peace, doggo. That's his little doghouse right there. If you save him, he would be right there. But fortunately, the game decided to be, nah, no fun allowed. Okay, he's coming back. There's a other thing right here. Can't get in there though. Get that red orb. Could use that to combine. There we go. We are looking good. I think you can sell the chicken eggs for money as well if you wanted to.
Okay, I'm gonna break this. Hopefully, no one didn't notice. Nobody didn't hear that. <laughs> Kicking crazy and shit. Alright. Probably can't go this way because I think there's a guy blocking the way. Yep, he is literally looking so. Yeah, so there's literally no way we can do this completely itself because that would have obviously, you know, will make this whole segment completely useless. So, I'm thinking we're going to go into that house. Could have ridden around the uh, Rosie here. Not sure I can kill that guy right there that is walking around with the water. Hi, chicken. So, that's the, the two story house that we could go to. If we wanted to. To get the shotgun. This, I think you need Ashley to get uh, to get in there because there's a little co op pop. Chicken. Alright, time to move. Chicken. Might be able to get in that house there. Hello, chickens. The animation for the chickens are really nice. Yeah, see, we can't get there because we need Ashley with us. So at some point, we're all going to come back here. I think we can get into that house. Just a man. Okay, he's going back. So let's check what this house has to offer. Okay, need some sort of key. Okay, we got a uh, barrel right there. Potential stuff. That's loud as hell. Uh, I think we're gonna have to kick it off at some point. At least I've been in some good, somewhat good food, although that bread looks a little bit moldy for my liking. All right, I think we're gonna have to kick it off. Might have to kick it off here, people. Because we got no other options. Yeah, they're kind of overlooking, uh, they're kind of everywhere. So I think at this way, we're just gonna, probably gonna kick it off real soon. Could try to reach over that clock tower there. That will be extremely, extremely ballsy. I can't really do nothing against that guy there. Alright, well, we're just gonna move on. Yep, it, 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 F, F, what kind of button is that? Alright. Okay, yep, there we go. It's, it's starting off. Alright, clock tower. Got some herbs. Alright. Get out of here. Okay, we're gonna do this all day, my friend. And uh, da, 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 uh, uh. <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna drop down. Uh, he's dead. Time to move. Okay, time to move, everybody. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Stop that. Hey, make my way in. I'm ammo. Oh, hello. Alright. Oh, that's not good. Huh. Stop it. Uh. Alright, time for me to get out of here. Get out of my face. Okay. Whoa. Yep. Uh, things are kicking off now. I don't want to waste too much ammo though, so I'm going to this house here. Okay, it's time to get in this house and barricade ourselves. Got the original soundtrack kicking in too. Excellent. Alright, I think this is where the Mr. Chainsaw guy's gonna pop out. There he is, the legend himself. The legend himself. Oh boy. 
All right, we're going to have to fortify our positions. It's my lucky day. All right. Fortify our position. Things are going to get spicy soon. Huh. All right, time we get out of here. He is going to do that. That's not good. All right, get the shotgun of truth. Oh, well, get, get the heck out of here. Blew his face off. The shotgun man is coming. Holy shit. Okay, we are we are leaving. Alright. Go to need of truth. Huh, how do you like that? Get the hell out of here. Okay, now I'm gonna go. Oh! Oh, 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 eh, eh, eh. Zone the native truth. The native truth. The chainsaw guy go. Oh! Oh, shit. Alright, don't get surrounded here. Man, they are aggressive. Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Oh! No, 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 no! Oh, it got me! God damn it! I could have fucking parried, but I didn't hit the space button. Damn! I was hoping I'll survive this segment on one shot. Nope, that is not the case. That was so close, though. We did so good there, everybody. Oh, man. And we gotta do that again. Fucking goddamn it. That was completely my fault. We absolutely messed up there. Alright, well, we gotta do that whole part again, unfortunately. But that was a first, a really good first try. Oh, whatever. Oh my god, instant kill. Second time in a row. Are you kidding me? Okay. Alright, I think I'm getting a little bit sick of this. Uh, we're just gonna go in guns blazing at this way. This is some bullshit. You gotta be kidding me. Get out of here. Okay, looking for Ooh. Go to NATO troop. Woo! Alright, low on ammo here. Alright, I'm out. Alright, time we get going. I'm stuck. Aye! Time to get going. Unless we get lucky and find another nade. Uh, we are just gonna keep on moving here. Try not to die again. Hey, 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 stay the heck away from me. Hey. It's probably a bad idea. Got some ha more hand grenades. Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, we got so lucky. got very lucky there. <laughs> La campana. I'll give Where's everyone going? Bingo? 